have your attention, we'll get started. So we can keep the evening moving for you. Uh, my name is Catherine Buboltz. Um, I'm currently the uh, president of the chair chamber this year, and so I want to welcome all of you. Um, we are so appreciative of having all of you here. This has been a wonderful turnout. We thank all of you for coming. We thank all of our wonderful table sponsors. Let's give our table sponsors a hand for the awesome job that we've done. We are definitely upping our game on the table decorations. People are really getting crazy with stuff, which is a lot of fun to see. So thank you so much for that. Um, as you may have noticed, our um, executive director, Randy Kerr, is not with us this evening. Um, but he's prepared a statement that we'd like to release to all of you so that you can kind of understand where he's at. So Jerry's Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry that I can't be with you tonight. Our membership celebration has always been a highlight of the year. Most of you know that I have been battling cancer since mid-July. Fortunately, the chemotherapy administered by the hematology department in Rochester was successful. That, however, is just stage one of the healing process. I now will be entering the next stage. This will necessitate my taking a leave of absence for the next few months. In the meantime, our good friend and longtime business leader, Tom Newell, will serve as interim director of the chamber. Tom, please stand. Many of you know Tom from his long-term leadership of Minnesota Freezer Warehouse. He will take on his role at the chamber starting this coming Monday and will be appearing at many meetings and functions on our behalf. I am confident that Tom will do a fine job for all of you. I want to thank those who have sent their good thoughts my way. I also need to thank the board of directors for their understanding. Most of all, however, I need to thank Jerry Jensen, Michelle Beyer, and Elaine Wallace for keeping the Chamber's programs on target. They have done amazing work over the last couple of months and deserve your respect and admiration. Congratulations to tonight's award winners. Enjoy your special night. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers go out to Randy and his family this evening as he um, continues his journey to battle cancer, and I know he appreciates all the support that he receives from all of you. Um, also, our deepest appreciation to Tom for stepping in and acting as intro for us um, on relatively short notice. He's been very gracious in doing so, and so we're very appreciative to have him um, at the helm for a few months while, while Randy, Randy works on his recovery. So um, thank you again, Tom. We appreciate that. Uh, and then also, um, talking about Randy, um, Val Kuali was nice enough to put together a Be Brave card for Randy, which we have out in the entryway. Some of you had signed it, but I don't know if all of you saw it. So if you didn't get a chance to do that, make sure before you leave, if you want to jot a note on there, sign your name or whatnot to send well wishes to him. I know he'd much appreciate seeing that. So um, thank you to Val for putting that together, and it's right out here kind of by the table where people were um, coming in to the to the room here, so thank you for that. Um, I want to take a moment just to point out um, some of our partnering organizations and folks that we have here. Um, Ryan Nolander is here, the Executive Director for Albert Lee Economic Development. Um, also we have, go ahead, you can clap. Also we have uh, Peggy Bennett, I believe is here, our representative, there she is. And is Dr. Atawalligan here? I know he was going to be here. Maybe he's running a little bit late, but he'll be joining us as well. OK. Um, so with that, let me introduce to you Father Kurt Farrell, who's the pastor at St. Theodore's Catholic Church. He's going to do our invocation. It's an honor to be with you tonight. Um, a lot of new faces, I'm sure for most of you. My face is new as well. I, uh, I chose go Eastern um, tonight and take some of our the traditions from, from uh, the Eastern brothers and sisters. Um, I took the prayer tonight from the um, Echathus hymn, Office of Praise of the Divine Name of Jesus. The breath of the 
gospel. But Jesus gave a loud, loud cry and breathed his last. And the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion, who was standing in front of him, had seen how he had died, and he said, In truth, this man was the Son of God. Glorious Jesus, my Lord, oh, how glorious you are. Oh, Jesus, because you wanted to save the world, you took on my fragile nature and submitted yourself to death. Because of this, your name is exalted above all names. And all the voices in the heavens and on earth sing a hymn of your glory, saying, Alleluia. Oh, my Christ, creator and savior, you assumed my death and gave me your eternal life. As you cleanse the ten lepers, cleanse me too of every stain of sin. As you healed Zacharias and the publican, heal my soul, weary and sick. As you never rejected anyone who asked for help, turn not away from me and help me to repent and sing to you. Jesus, treasure always abundant. Jesus, wealth beyond measure or limit. Jesus, delight me with your riches. Jesus, food for both the strong and the weak. Jesus, drink who quench the thirst of all. Jesus, fill me with hunger and thirst for you. Jesus, comforting shelter of the poor. Jesus, defender of the lowly and the helpless. Jesus, protect me and all my brothers and sisters. Jesus, supporting arms when I labor. Jesus, a smiling face when I pray. Jesus, share with me every moment of my life. Jesus, peace of the anguish. Jesus, repose of the weary. Jesus, I fall, lift me up. Jesus, guide of pilgrims. Jesus, pilot of those at sea. Jesus, my north star, my beacon, and my way. Jesus, son of living God, have mercy on us. And bless us all this night. Amen. Thank you, Father. First chair, Patricia Dahl. I know she's here. Past chair, Catherine Bubbles. George Gonzalez. I know he's not here. He's playing hockey tonight. Uh, Julia Thompson. Kathy Sabinish. Dr. Adenuga Adewaligan, and I practice that all day, thanks, and he doesn't show up. <laughs> uh, Angie Coker, and the fabulous Kim Nelson. <laughs> yeah, stand up. Um, the new director. Uh, Brandon Stevens from Cargill Turkey and Cooked Meats. Brandon? <laughs> Not a good way to start the game. All right. And Catherine, it's up to you. We had to practice Dr. Adam Yuga at Oligan's name because Jeff wanted to call him Dr. I want a mulligan. Is that what it was? <laughs> Did that work, Julia? Julia's like, you guys gotta throw some humor out there. Lighten it up a little bit. Um, okay, so uh, we also wanna recognize our retiring directors, um, the esteemed Jeff Woodside. You wanna stay standing there for a second, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff brought a lot of levity to our meeting, so we're appreciative of that. Uh, Jeff Eaton with Eaton Sport and Spine. And Kelly Anderson with Herberts and Gerberts. So appreciative to all these folks for uh, Justin will recognize the committees that we have. Real quickly, I just wanted to point out, Jeff promised me yesterday he was going to wear his Canadian tuxedo. He did not. <laughs> so everyone can give him some grief about that later on. He, he did tell me it's at the dry cleaners tonight, so. Um, what I'd like to do is recognize all of the committee committees together. I know it's made up of a large 
um, group of people. So if you could all stand as I read off the different committee names. The Agriculture Committee, the Ambassadors Committee, Business Education Partnership, Governmental Affairs, the Green Committee, and the Worksite Wellness Committee. And if we could give everyone that's standing a round of applause. The other acknowledgement I'd like to pass on is to the Chamber Foundation Board of Directors. Um, we have a number of them here tonight. Uh, the Chamber Foundation, for those of you who don't know, serves in the capacity of um, uh, fundraising, or not fundraising, but funding various projects for nonprofits in the community. They're kind of a holding area for money, such as things as a splash pad, the money was put in to the Chamber Foundation while that project was being completed. Um, so if any of those members are here, please stand. We'll recognize you guys as well. Go ahead, Tom. You guys can stand. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And Kevin for the ambassador recognition. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm here to represent the ambassadors, and uh, every year we give out the Ambassador of the Year Award. Weekly, the Chamber ambassadors uh, visit existing and new businesses to the Chamber so that we can better understand and support the Chamber community. We also host the annual Chamber uh, Ambassador Golf Event, which I'm sure many of you have either attended or contributed to, and we thank you for your support. This year, the uh, golf event uh, helped raise, or, I'm sorry, uh, the event helps raise funds uh, that, we, that we give out as college scholarships to local high school students. This year, we were able to uh, award $9,000 in scholarships to seven students in the Fremont County uh, area. The ambassador activity has required time and effort from all of our ambassadors. However, every year, we like to acknowledge an ambassador that stands out from the rest. Involvement, dedication, and willingness to help are attributes that we take into consideration when naming our ambassador of the year. And this year's really winner really showed these characteristics. Happy to announce that the winner for the ambassador of the year this year is Leah Lawrence, who is with the Shell Rock River, River Watershed. Unfortunately, though, Leah is not able to attend tonight's uh, event, so I will accept this for her, but let's give her a round of applause. And make sure if you see Leah to congratulate her. Thank you. Uh, acknowledge our volunteer of the year for the chamber. Uh, many of our past volunteers of the year have chosen uh, to volunteer in an area that bears a strong resemblance to their occupation, and we believe that's due to the passion that they have for what they do. This year's winner is no different. She's committed and devoted, uh, she's committed and devoted to her work. She works tirelessly to assist the businesses in our community to overcome the challenges that they face. Our, on our chamber's behalf, she stepped forward to chair one of our committees for, she said, a year or so. That was back in June of 2010. <laughs> she's gone way beyond that. Uh, one year commi commitment as she continues to chair that committee still today. Single handedly, she prepares the agenda, takes the minutes, and submits those to the business monthly. Very few individuals have this kind of dedication. She is so passionate that she also has found time to establish a local HR group along with chairing the Business Education Partnership Committee. By now, you may have guessed that our volunteer of the year is Val Qualley of Workforce Development Center. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> when my manager said, you know, Val, we're gonna we're gonna have you do the business thing because you know everyone. Um, I really didn't necessarily, but Tom, remember the first time I came to visit your um, your store, your company, and he said, Val, put a code on it. I'm like, I got good. He goes, Val, put a code on it. <laughs> Thank God I listened to him. Um, and I told my manager, I said, you know, I can't believe you pay me to do this job. I go to meetings, I get to travel, I get to wear hard hats, I went to John Foreman and you know, Alamco. Um, I, I just feel blessed every day. I, I can't really think of a day that I don't want to go to work. You know, so I okay, that's enough. <laughs> And Carol, is Carol here? Carol Bauer is going to present our next door. I am really honored to be here. I am not working. I am retired. And I have been volunteering with the Blue Zone Project for the last two years, Blue Zone number two. And if I may say, as, as much as we miss Randy, we miss Ellen Kerr, too. There's no way I can fill her shoes or anything about her, but she too, as a loving wife, is with Randy in Rochester, um, walking their path to their current journey too, so we miss her. But here I am, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, I volunteered on the Worksite Wellness Committee, which started many years ago with Blue Zones number one, and has continued to this day meeting every month and making sure that all of you get the resources you need and the help you need to keep your work sites as well as they can be. So anyway, the Worksite Wellness Award. Over the past six years, we've honored many businesses for their work in promoting wellness for their employees. Each year, an extensive application is completed and submitted for review. May I say some very wonderful, wonderful companies have won this award. During that time, we've only had one business, though, that has submitted an application every year. They've consistently been a leader in the areas of healthy eating, tobacco-free campuses, active living, and social interaction among their employees. So this year, they were the only applicant. And as a consequence, we determined that a special first-time only award was in order. So we are pleased to present the Worksite Wellness Platinum Award to Freeborn Mauer. I can speak from personal experience of working with Robin all these years that I don't know anyone who has contributed more to worksite wellness and sharing their projects and their successes with anybody. So, say something. You. Well, we get a lot of um, support and ideas from the other work sites on the wellness committee, so that is a great support system. So we kind of all share ideas, and that's what works. Bravo. Good evening, and thank you all for attending tonight. On behalf of the Green Committee through the Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to introduce to you the three recognized submissions for the 2017 Environmental Leader Award. In preface, according to the blueprint for a better tomorrow, it's essential for a responsible program of economic and community development to address our community's ongoing environmental needs. Continued economic growth and expansion did not have to come at the sacrifice of the natural resources Albert Lee has to offer. The Chamber, through the Green Committee, would like to recognize three members that have taken proactive steps and go have gone above and beyond what is required by policy or law to protect our precious environment as well as our quality of life in Freeborn County. The Albert Lee Freeborn County Chamber is one of only a handful of chambers in the United States that presents an environmental award each year. We received multiple nominations for the 2017 award, and I'm here on behalf of the Green Committee to honor and recognize the following companies. 
Mrs. Jerry's Kitchen, Poet Bio Refining of Glenville, and hy V of Albert Lee. The committee congratulates these companies for their noteworthy efforts. And I'm honored to present the 2017 Environmental Leader Award to hy V of Albert Lee. Come on up, guys. This award is in recognition of their commitment to our global and local environment. Among other initiatives, and I will note there were several, of importance and impact, our hy V implemented a food waste composting program and donated more than 20, ton, 20 tons of compost made from organic waste in 2016. In addition, they donated a full truckload to our local community uh, gardens and to our local neighbors. So congratulations, you guys, and great work. <laughs> us tonight, Poet Bio Refinery of Glenville and Mrs. Jerry's Kitchen to come forward as we do have awards of recognition for you as well. Thank you so much. We do encourage other companies to apply for this award as well as other representatives from companies that are committed to a green future for our area to step forward and to join us on the Green Committee as well as responding to the nominations. If you know of a company that is worthy of recognition for what they're doing to protect our environment for our future generations, I would call on you to step forward and make sure that you're letting us all know so that we can add them to our list of consideration for 2018. Those that have been recognized but did not receive the award tonight, including, high, or including Mrs. Jerry's Kitchen and Bowett Refinery, are going to roll into the 2018 award category, and we'd like to give them some competition. So please feel free to do that. In addition, the Green Committee has put together a program, and our intention is to plant a tree with a plaque that commemorates the 2017 award winner in a local park. We're working with the city of Albert Lee to do that and to determine the specific uh, variety of tree and location of where that tree is gonna go. And our intention over the coming years is to create a grove of trees, each with a recognition plaque that uh, awards uh, a little bit of recognition to those companies in our local area that are making a positive impact on our local environment. So thank you very much and please consider nominating and also, I, I mean, we all know, we're all told as chamber members, don't be shy to toot your own horn. So if you're doing green things and great things that are gonna benefit generations to come at your companies, please consider putting that in writing and submitting that to the Chamber Green Committee for consideration for 2018's award. An important part of the process, as Mariah was just mentioning, is to get nominees. And so we want to encourage you as you go throughout the year and you think about businesses that are deserving of this honor, that you think of nominating them next year and also tooting your own horn. There's a lot of things, great things that are happening in our community, and we want to make sure that we have the opportunity to recognize them. This year's winners were selected by previous winners as well as selected board members. For the Small Business of the Year, the representative is, is representative of the historical nature of Albert Lee. Our history is full of entrepreneurial businesses and this is one of the newest. Not only is he owner and entrepreneur, but also spends many hours assisting others. She has restored an old historic building in our beautiful downtown district and is committed to the growth of Albert Lee. She is on the boards of Experience Albert Lee and Destination Albert Lee, and has been filling in as chair of the Chamber's Green Committee. Her company has taken off and experienced significant growth over the last 12 months. Our Small Business of the Year is Good Steward Consulting. Mariah? Well, I cried at my wedding, but um, <laughs> that was because I fought hard for my husband. 
well, to get him. <laughs> um, but I guess the tears are representative of the fact that I do feel that I fought hard for our community, for our community businesses. Um, and thank you. I think that's wonderful. I, honest to God, am beyond shocked being a single person company uh, to receive the small company award. Um, just as Vale said, Vale, you throw out a, a little <laughs> tidbit to my dad, John Foreman. Um, I remember one of the first times I came to the chamber dinner was when Alamco Wood Products won the Large Business of the Year Award. Uh, so I'm very humbled to enter at this category. Thank you very much. Our Large Business of the Year is a true chamber and community partner. They are represented at, on several chamber committees and on other community organizations including Business and Education Partnerships, Worksite Wellness Committee, and the Board of Directors. They have a representative on the Riverland Foundation Board, the Blue Zones Leadership Team, and have many invo employees involved in service clubs. They've hosted the Business After Hours and the Chamber Leadership class. The list of other organizations with whom they partner is endless, and they are justifiably proud of their employees and recognize them regularly with prizes, years of service awards, and special events. We rec they recently spent $12 million in campus improvements. Our large business of the year is Thorncrest Senior Living. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. Look at everybody's crying. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I have to tell you, this team of people I joined them in March do an amazing, phenomenal job. Um, they take very seriously what they do, but they have a lot of fun doing what they do, and I couldn't work with a better group of people, so I want to thank all of them. Um, also, our residents are phenomenal people. I think we all would agree with that. We've got a lot of past chamber members, too, who are going to be so excited to see this tomorrow. I know they're rooting for us tonight, so um, thank you again. We really appreciate this. Thank you.